Are we alone? Mankind has always been on the mission to find an Earth-like planet. The latest James Webb telescope aims to study cosmic history along with discovering any exoplanets with signs of life. It will help answer fundamental questions about the universe appearing 13 billion years back in time. Let's have a look into this impressive feat of engineering marvel. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, the largest, powerful, and most complex ever built, is designed to conduct infrared astronomy. Because infrared light under normal circumstances is not visible to human eye. So essentially, it can see far more objects which were hidden in visible light, that is, covering the near-infrared and mid-infrared range. Infrared also lets scientists go further back in time because of a phenomenon called red shifting, which lets them estimate how far is the object from Earth. Light takes a bit over 8 minutes to travel to Earth, meaning when we look at the Sun, we see as it was 8 minutes ago. James Webb Telescope takes the idea further to study space objects by essentially looking 13 billion years into the past. After 30 years in the making, it was launched on December 25th, 2021 from European Space Agency's launch site in France, Guyana. The cost at the time of the launch was $10 billion. Its mission duration is up to 10 years and the goals are to search the first galaxies in the early universe, study the evolution of galaxies, observe the formation of stars and measure physical and chemical properties of planetary systems to find the potential for life. The observatory is made up of following main sections. First optical telescope element, which is basically the eye of the telescope. It contains mirrors and backplane. The primary mirror made from gold-coated beryllium is composed of 18 smaller hexagonal segments and is 6.5 meters in diameter. The backplane is like the spine supporting the mirrors. Second, Integrated Science Instrument Module, or ISIM for short, which is responsible to detect light from distant stars, galaxies, and planets orbiting other stars. It's the heart of the telescope consisting of near-infrared cam, near-infrared spectrograph, mid-infrared instrument, and fine guidance sensor. Third, the Sun Shield which is made from aluminum coated captain consists of five layers. The sun facing two layers also have a doped silicone coating to reflect sunlight back into space and it's about 21 into 14 meters in size comparable to a tennis court. And the temperature range is from minus 235 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit to 125 degrees Celsius or 260 degrees Fahrenheit. And fourth, spacecraft bus which provides much needed support functions for the operation and consists of major subsystems like electrical power subsystem, altitude control subsystem, communication subsystem, command and data handling subsystem, propulsion subsystem, and last but not the least, thermal control subsystem. About 40 million hours were spent on this impressive work of collaboration by thousands of people from 29 US states and 14 countries. The telescope took 30 days to travel 1.5 million kilometers or approximately a million miles to get to its home at L2, the second Sun-Earth Lagrange point, which are positions in space where objects tend to stay put. These points in space can be used by spacecraft to reduce fuel consumption needed to remain in position. Now this L2 point is ideal to study universe because a spacecraft is close enough to stay in contact with Earth through NASA's Deep Space Network, which is an international array of giant antennas. Being an infrared observatory, it's essential for Webb to be protected from all light and hot sources in order to observe extremely faint heat signatures in the universe. It will always stay on Earth's night side as it moves around the sun, ensuring one side of its sun shield will continuously face the sun Earth and Moon, allowing it to generate solar power while providing an unobstructed view of deep space. Webb can only point to roughly half of the sky at any given time as it can't see in the direction of the Earth and the Sun. This gives telescope access to the entire sky over the course of a year. After launch, Webb underwent an action-packed six-month commissioning period. During this time, it fully deployed, cooled down to operating temperatures, aligned its mirrors, and calibrated its instruments. And on July 12, 2022, NASA officially released the first ever images taken by the Webb. This landscape of mountains and valleys is actually the edge of a nearby star-forming region called 
NGC3324 in Carina Nebula. Stephen's Quintet is Web's largest image to date, constructed from over 1000 separate image files and contains over 150 million pixels. It gives insights into galactic interactions. Two cameras aboard Web captured the latest image of this planetary nebula, catalogued as NGC3132 and known informally as a Southern Ring Nebula. It is approximately 2500 light years away. Now this graph tells us the story of a Jupiter-like planet WASP-96b, 1150 light years away from Earth. Webb has captured a distinct signature of water in the atmosphere surrounding this planet. POTUS, a day before NASA's official release of photos, unveiled this image of galaxy cluster SMAX-0723, which includes the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared. Let's wait and see what distant and unseen world James Webb Telescope will further unveil to us. Thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please do share with your friends and family and consider subscribing to the channel.